Okay, so today we're gonna work on wiring up the battery box. Our battery bank, I should say. This is the, here's some cable. Got all the four out cables with the four out lugs. Crimped them all up, you can see a video on that. Got the bolts. We got half of the batteries in the battery box. So eight of the Trojan L16RE-Bs. These are, I think, 300 and 370 amp hours, something like that. Six volt batteries. You got eight of them. I'm going to put them together in series to make 48 volts. So we'll start here at the positive. Hopefully you can see this. And we're going to go, we'll start here. Negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Positive. So we'll string them all the way around. We'll end up with 48 volts from here to here. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Start here. Go around. You'll end up with 48 volts with a positive and negative. Then... I'll jump the negative to negative and the positive to positive and that'll tie these two banks into one bank so they'll be in parallel. Okay then I'm going to run two cables from the negatives and two cables from the positive, four aughts, down to the kind of low, low and out. I, don't, I want this uh, to be low because I don't want any of the hydrogen to go out through here. So then uh, that'll come up and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. but either through the wall or through here somehow, and that goes up into the inverters. All right, and I marked these cables with red and black, uh, you know, heat shrink. So I kind of want to take my time doing this so I don't do anything stupid. All right, I don't know. There we go. All right, so what am I doing? Negative to positive. What could, what could possibly go wrong with that, right? We don't want to go from this negative to this positive. That would be stupid. <laughs> All right, now what am I doing? <laughs> okay, negative to positive. That's going to put these two in series. So now we just made a 12 volt battery. This is six, this is six. If we go from here to here, it'll be 12. Hey, I did the Homer Simpson and dropped one. Look at that. Gotcha. These things come in handy. Okay, last one for this side. Run double negatives and double positives. And then when I get the whole other side done, I'll just take two of them off and push them over there. You wouldn't even really have to, but I like to keep everything even and balanced. Like the wires for this side will be the same length as the wires from that side. They're all going to come into the middle and they'll all be short as possible. I got to be careful here because I'm not taping this up. So if I drop it, man, there's going to be big problems. We don't want that. Okay, so I looked up on the Trojan website and they say to torque these battery terminals to 100 to 120 inch pounds, which converts to between 8.2 or 8.3, something like that, to 10 foot pounds. Don't drop the wrench in here and don't touch anything. Oh man, be careful. Let's see where this thing clicks off at. There we go. That's it, that's nine and a half foot pounds. So we already did this part. Hey, that's six volts there, right? And then we go 12 and 50. If I have it solid to here, nailed down and then hinged at that point, it's going to hinge like this. And then I'd have to have some way of hooking it up here to hold it out of the way. And oh yeah, it's easy to get to everything. Here I'm marking out these lines show where the open area between the two banks should be. When I get the other one in here, this can go go here or it could actually end up going even higher right for now i'm just going to mark that it's going to come over to about right here it's 
guy will take this space. So if I take it out, if I cut this out of here, like here and here, it's going to be okay because this thing's nailed to a stud here and it's nailed to a stud here. So hey, look at that. That went bye-byes. So I skipped that part. You missed that part, but I took it out with a jigsaw, in case you're wondering. And the next step is i got to cut through this, and I don't have a die that big. So I'm going to try and cut it with a metal cutting hole saw, but I'm not sure how that's going to go. So we'll see. This is the this is what I'm going to use to try and cut through. This is going to go horribly wrong. So I'm thinking I'm going to hinge this about right here. Now I'm going to drill the hole in here that this will go through. Look at that. I got this piece cut. This back here. that anyway got this in here good so next get this guy to go something like this about like that and then I can just leave that like that and the wires come right out through the bottom there and go where they need to go decided to take that off and go ahead and get this weather stripping put this on there so there's the seal Got that all the way around, it's weather stripping. Next up, I'm gonna cut the wires that go from the, these are the main supply from the battery bank up to the inverter. I think I'm gonna make all these cables exactly the same way. There we go. Four cables, they'll get cut a little bit more when I get them in there. What I got here is I'm trying to get my wires all these wires, I wrapped them all up together. There's the two hot, or the two reds, the two negatives, two blacks. Now I gotta get that, all these cables up through this hole, and then I can put the conduit up in place and put the straps on. Got this all clamped into place. It's all solid. So next, I'm going to start putting these, I'm going to wire these ends of the, these cables up to the inverter inputs. Putting the ends on here, we'll heat shrink, finish them off. Got all the ends on here and heat shrink. Just snugging these up. I need to get my torque wrench on here and get these set. Coming together, it's pretty smooth curves down here. Next step, got to get in here and hook these up. Then we'll have 48 bolts up in here. Here we are. All the main power is connected to the 48 volt battery bank. You got two four aughts positive, two four aughts negative. Come up through here, the conduit, and into the magnum panel. All right, so I got a few more things I got to tie up. Uh, I got to put the hinges on here for the lid, and I got to put the battery temperature sensor on. I got to hook up that fan, and then I think I'm going to get into the networking between the inverters, the charger, and the controller. Get all that wiring done. And then I'm gonna look at maybe going through here and doing some of the initial tests to make sure that the inverters actually fire up and work before I get the, uh, before I start working on the panels. All right, so we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.